bogey. It's bogey on the ball. There's no width here. There's just no width from the Cosmos. Everybody's crowding the penalty area. Oh, Cabanius went down, and a penalty kick, I believe, has been given. Just as we were remarking at the absolute lack of movement, Cabanius uh, goes down. Let's take a look. Well, there he's pulled. He seems to be an arm around him, certainly, but it didn't look uh, wild or violent enough to be called. Let's see who that player is. Well, it's Franz Beckenbauer. Oh, come on. Not, not in a world all-star game like this. This, uh, this should not be given. Players are good enough to get their own goals. Johan Naskins will take it. Well, I think you also, the referee should know the players. You know Beckenbauer is not about to be burying somebody in the penalty area in a, an international match of this nature. Anyhow, Naskins with a penalty kick. Against Peter Shilton. And Johan giving the Cosmos a 1-0 advantage. Well, the crowd booing, not booing Johan, obviously, are the Cosmos, but booing the decision. Uh, here's the replay of the goal. Uh, Johan doing very well with penalties now, taking over from Kinalia, just puts it too far away from Shilton to get to. And uh, in the corner there from the ground level camera, you see how close it is to the post. It's exactly the way you should take penalties. Just headed into the very corner, low to the ground. The keeper really has a relative, relatively no chance of getting there unless he moves much too early and will be uh, whistled for that usually. And in the second half, I'm sure we're going to be seeing the likes of Charlie Nicholas from Arsenal. Oh, here's a mistake. Rochateau. Dominique Rochateau equalizing with four and a half minutes in the first half. Well, as you mentioned, you don't give players of this caliber a mistake of that nature, certainly. A badly taken goal kick that uh, ends up right at the talented foot. Uh, so I mentioned uh, this Rochateau, the green devil, he was called. And look at that. My goodness. Talk about stuffing it right back at you. You give us a penalty. Uh, we're just going to turn it on for you. Bang, upper right-hand corner. Fantastic shot. Driven by Rocheteau, the green devil of Saint-Étienne. Now it's in Paris. In. Back to Duarte. Jaime Duarte. Wellington Ortiz. Gets it back, moves in, taken off his foot, and a penalty is given. As at the six-yard line, Ortiz was taken down by Carmen Marcantonio. Well, I think... That one might have been a bit more blatant. We'll get another good look at it. Look how quick Ortiz is going right in. The tackle from behind by Carmen. He certainly seemed to get that right foot of his around the uh, right ankle. And uh, referee's going to give that sort of thing, especially after the first one he gave. He's got no choice. So Sanchez will take it with a chance to put the World All-Stars ahead. 26-year-old Hugo Sanchez will take aim on Hubert Birkenmeyer. Naskins complaining of an injury coming over to the sideline here for some help. Well, not near the post. Birkenmeyer guessed incorrectly, tried to come back. Couldn't do it. Two to one. The World All-Stars on top. Well, no question that Ortiz uh, is causing a lot of trouble for Mark Antonio, and that was what caused the penalty. But to your Hubert guess to the right side on one of those situations, had he stayed where he was, he would have saved it. But most goalkeepers just simply don't want to do that. They don't want to stand where they are. They want to, uh, they want to make some kind of a guess. Otherwise, they feel they look silly. Substitutions are made. Jerry Gray comes on. Dragan Vujovic comes off. Steve Moyers comes on. And David Bursich will also come on and replace Hubert Birkenmeyer in the net. So uh, David will see some action. Teams. He's played the entire match pushing up on the right side. The burrito goes down and sent ahead immediately by Mavros for Ortiz against Naskin. Centers on goal. Mark Antonio, who's had a rough evening, nods that cross right in to make it 3-1. Well, we'll take a look at the replay. I think he may have caught this one on his left knee, but we'll see. It might have been his head. He reached his head down. You see the cross coming in here. Good quick move by Naskins, and there's the touch. Yeah, looked like it went in off his knees. Really a tough break for Carmen, who's had a bit of a, a baptism here. Well, not a baptism, but certainly a nightmare of a game for him because Ortiz has been just that bit quicker on the far side. And even when Pedro de Brito came over, that didn't help out a great deal. Ortiz has really uh, brought this crowd uh, to its 